Welcome to Star Citizen 3.20 and the Seraphim Guide, the new space station above the clouds of Crusader. Port Olizar is no longer available in 3.20, the first space station in the game and the starting point for adventures since version 3.0 many years ago has now been replaced after 20 game versions by the Seraphim station, which has now taken the place of Port Olizar above the clouds of Crusader. The Seraphim station now offers all functions and possibilities of a space station which we already know from other residence areas. However, the Seraphim now resembles all other stations, although we would have liked to see a new distinctive station such as Grimhex. All through only the iconic rotating ring structures remind us of Port Olizar, the Seraphim offers much more than Port Olizar. So we finally have the possibility to use a medical facility, have access to cargo decks and can use all the usual features we know from other stations. But we lose the popular outside landing pads, quick access to terminals and most of all many, mostly good memories. But PO will always be a part of Star Citizen, at least for us. Seraphim offers the possibility to use two standard docking ports for larger ships and otherwise offers the classic hangar landing pads in all sizes. These are the same on other stations. Also, the interior areas are as usual in the standard and offer a slightly modified layout, whereby we find in the first level again the hangar terminals, a pizza stand, as well as the access to the elevator system and the hubs. If we move towards the pizza stand, we reach the corridor that leads us to the clinic, finally offering the possibility of a spawn on the Crusader station. We definitely miss this feature on Port Olizar. Here we also find a standard clinic with a modified layout and all options from medical treatments, setting a spawn point and shopping for medical equipment. And on the opposite side, we reach the elevator system as well as the hubs. The gallery area offers a very good selection of shopping options and is well sorted. Here we find the FPS weapon store, an armor store which also offers white weapons as well as for a store for ship weapons. However, there is no dumpers depot anymore. On the first floor, we first reach the food area via the connecting corridor in the gallery. In the large food area, we find countless food stalls and restaurants, whereby we can recommend above all the fancy Asia snack, since this offers the best view with aquarium. Of course, without fish. In the armor store, we find a good selection of different armors, as well as separately on the wall a selection of white-colored weapons, which are additionally purchasable. In the armor section, we find several sets from light to medium, as well as equipment like backpacks and countless color variations. On the way to the FPS weapon store, we find the offer for ship armament, where we can buy equipment for the Vanguard and Hornet series as well as various special weapons like the Sucker Punch in large or the FL-33. In addition, the assortment of rockets is respectable. The FPS shop himself also offers a good selection of assault rifles, pistols, shotguns and SMGs, as well as various ammunition and equipment. For commodity trading, we find access to helium, hydrogen, scrap, waste and copper on the second floor at the admin console. But the Seraphim also offers a cargo deck, where we again find standard equipment and have access to a yellow aerial armor as well as a Novikov protective suit. So in conclusion, 
The Seraphim offers everything we already know and a little new. However, the quality of life improvements are noticeable and it was simply time for a Crusader space station customization. However, we would have liked to seen a bit more Port Olizar flair and hope to see PO again as a mission location in Crusader's orbit for example.